Hello everyone, welcome to Tuesday Mood. I hope you enjoy the show, yeah. So yeah, hello everyone, welcome to Tuesday Mood. And today kita bakal ngomongin banyak banget because there's a lot of questions sama fan mails juga. So, let's just get started. But before, sebelum kita benar-benar mulai, aku mau ngomong dua hal. Tama-tama minta maaf kalau misalnya audionya agak-agak meraspi or some shit like that. I hope gak mengganggu banget. I'm in the process of trying to find a new mic. Jadi ya, yeah, it's gonna be fun pretty soon. But hopefully. And yang kedua, aku itu, aku gak pernah sebut nama perusahaannya. Aku sempat kayak dikirim email buat sponsorin suatu perusahaan gitu. So it's uh, essentially like perusahaan investasi gitu. Tapi investasinya itu kayak MLM. Jadi for people yang gak tahu. MLM itu namanya multi-level marketing. Jadi kayak essentially um, you undang temen, semakin banyak you undang, semakin banyak duit yang you dapat. It sounds simple, but it's it's just a way to keep you down. It's just a scam, for some reason like that. So, aku dulu pernah ikut kayak ginian, and I regret it. So, kalau misalnya kalian dapat kayak gitu, please jangan ya. And aku gak mau kasih tau perusahaannya karena I think you guys should know gimana caranya And it was pretty simple And straightforward aja kayak Pertama, red flagsnya itu pas dia kirim email pake nama yang sama sekali gue gak kenal Itu kayak nama-nama generic banget I forgot what the name is, tapi pada kayak gitu It was so generic that it just feels fake Terus aku sempat chat lewat WA, but nah, dia cuma carry, tapi itu baru langsung ditanya gitu. Then one thing yang I could have taken it, so na the job offer yang ku ambil dari kalau misalnya dari website Nox Influencer, the price is pretty okay. Sekalian kalau misalnya aku juga mau ikut, I could have taken it. And I could have taken advantage, tapi gue gak mau. So, I don't want you guys buat gak kemakan sama M- MLM itu tadi. Um, thank God, gue udah juga cek verifikasi. Um, gue nonton review-review orang. That's just nonsense investing. So, ya. Yeah. Hati-hati ya, guys. Karena semakin banyak yang investing app muncul sekarang. Atau website. Not everything is real. Kalau misalnya masih pemula, just stick with Bibit, oke? Okay? Okay, so let's get right into the show. So, first, we'll get to um, fan mails to, and then we go to short questions, okay? Alright then, first fan mail. Okay, let me open up just a bit. First fan mail is from Wonder Fira. Hmm, seperti yang lumayan lama ya dikirimnya. Wait, let me see. April 15 <laughs> Catatan kaki Oke, okay, let, me, let me read it Hi, hola, bonjour Pesan ini berisi ketidakjelasan hidup seorang saya yang Bisa dibilang bukan orang Juga gak paham, gak ngerti ini bu Nilai sekarang lagi ngapain Tapi yang pasti sekarang lagi hujan Jadi pengen sebelah Tapi tutup yang jual puasa Ya, kali gue makan siang Yang ada kena rukyah Memang sebelah <laughs> Tapi tidak apa dikarenakan kebaikan bapak dan ibu mengajar tentu saja tugas menjadi makanan pokok utama saya saat ini. Ah ini mah aku gabung. Belum selesai satu, udah selamat pagi. Semua bagaimana kabarnya? Si ibu menyapa dengan gembira, udah kayak lagi iklan kulit manggis. Belum lagi kalau dia tanya, gimana tugasnya sebentar lagi? Tenggat, jangan sampai lupa, oh iya ini ada tugas buat hari ini selamat mengerjakan. Wow, that's pretty. Ini mah apa ya? <coughs> ini mah ini mah ya apanya yang mau disamatin yang ada juga di rumah aku buat samatan dilaporkan siswi tewas <laughs> karena tugas ulang lagi sih mama bilang kakak nggak pernah mama lihat bela- mama lihat belajar asik buka hp aja dari pagi sampai malam lah dikira aku mah dagang cilok dari pagi sampai malam itu mah ya kalau pernah bisa ngomong aku mah capek kamu 
ajakin gue yang mulu dari pagi-pagi kan kasihan coba kayak gini Maya nggak bisa gini terus pengen keluar tapi nggak ada teman uh uh sepertinya adikku lagi kacau sebelum sebelah tapi tenang pengen lagi main main game pengen keluar tapi nggak ada teman nggak mungkin kan ada yang baca sampai sini aku lagi baca sampai sini nggak tahu ini apaan tapi ya udin saya hanya mencoba mengistirahatkan otak saya dan Dari kumpulan tugas sekian alwa. Uh, uh, itu seperti kalau misalnya aku lagi mau curhat ke diri sendiri. But yeah. I don't feel like you would you say. Even though I get it. Emang banyak tugas sampai itu. Gue gak pake otak gitu kasih nugasnya. Saking pusingnya bisa dibilang tewas. And I get it. Apalagi kalau misalnya. Kalau dimanifestasiin. Seberapa pusingnya. I think I get the point dari sini. <laughs> so yeah, thank you Wonder Fear for this absolutely hilarious sama awesome juga punya fan mail. I really do enjoy it. And let's get right into the next one. Just another fan mail by Caramel Macchiato. Hi Sir Brin, how's your day? I know that maybe you're busy and tired, but I still hope that you're living your best life. Thank you. Aku mau curhat aja. Jadi aku lagi dalam suasana hati yang kurang baik sekarang. I'm really pissed off. Karena my work dicuri orang lain. Lebih tepatnya dikasih ke orang lain. Uh. So I'm a dancer. I do hip hop and contemporary dance. Wow. Nice. Love fucking dancer. Dan aku punya satu one more video. Dance video project. I've been working on it very hard with my team and my coach. Mulai dari remix lagunya, bikin koreografinya, outfitnya. Tempat syuting dan lain-lain That's really awesome to prepare Dan saat semuanya udah selesai Dan kita tinggal syuting Tiba-tiba my coach decided To give it to another team Well, well, well So, what did they do to the coach? <laughs> That's fucked up Gak suka banget aku kayak gitu Alasannya karena tim itu Belum dapat project sama sekali What the fuck? Well, um, that's some dumb shit Somebody did something to the coach Man, that's fucked up Tapi kan kenapa nggak bikin sendiri aja, Drew? Kenapa harus ngambil kerja keras tim lain? Adik why my coach did that? There's something going on. Adik why my team members agree? Adik if I'm overreacting or not? But fuck that, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off too. Fucking hell, man. That's just fucked up. Apa gitu kalau misalnya pekerjaan yang kita udah kerja keras bener-bener tuh diambil itu, udah kita siapin tiba-tiba mereka yang ambil. Oh shit, that hits close to home. I get that. <laughs> Man, that's just fucked up though. Whew. But I'm happy that you're doing hard work though. Even though you won't be set up billion, I'm really glad that you also take the hard route. These guys may be cunts, but one day you'll get your moment. I believe in that. Keep doing what you're doing and I believe in you. You can do it, Caramel Macchiato. Thank you for the fan mail. Thank you for sharing with us. And yeah, the top smile truth. Okay, don't let this shit bring you down. Okay. Okay. Good thing I So yeah, finally we have the fan mail. We got Augie Maple. Wow, shh, Augie mau cerita dengerin ya. Okay. Hi Brit, how are you today? Kau lagi sedih, jangan sih terus ya. No, I'm feeling absolutely cheery. Nanti mungkin aku jelasin di akhir. Soalnya fan mail Ogi kali ini bukan surat, tapi aku mau membagi kebahagiaanku di hari minggu ini. That's really awesome. Sama dari request kecil. Oke. Okay. Jadi ada satu teman dekat aku yang ulang tahun hari ini. Happy belated birthday to him ya. Atau her. Tapi sedihnya dia lagi di solusi mandiri di rumah. Fuck. Jadi gak bisa dikumpul buat ngerain Terus aku ada ide aku dan temen aku yang lain ngumpulin video kita ngucapin ulang tahun ke dia sama di edit lucu gitu Temen aku seneng banget Habis lihat videonya sampai nangis dia That is awesome I really like it kalau misalnya sama temen kasih kirim video kayak gitu That's just truly awesome Karena Man that's just That's just something else That's really nice of you Augie And your friends too You guys are awesome. Nah, request dari aku, gimana kalau para member VIP Indo Brand bakal dapat fan atau video khusus ngucapin ulta dari kamu, Brit? 
Fandom juga bakalan dikirim sesuai tanggal ulang tahun masing-masing orang. Sebelum itu kita kumpulin dulu tanggal lahir semua member. Sekarang mbak promosi member VIP bisa nih. <laughs> That actually sounds like a really great idea. I'll, I'll try to make this spreadsheet. Tapi I'll probably announce it in a few days. Yeah. I'm gonna think about how this is gonna go down. So yeah. Sama satu lagi kurangi bergadang. Gak cuma buat bawa berit tapi semua yang denger ini. <laughs> Padahal aku sendiri susah banget nguranginnya. Duh. Tapi emang lagi keseringan, eh kalau keseringan bergadang, buruk banget dampaknya. Aku ngerasain sendiri. Jadi susah fokus dan tanpa mood juga disering, jadi sering jelek. Bergadang boleh, tapi kalau urgent ya... Soalnya kalau udah jadi kebiasaan, susah ngurangin ya, oke? Okay? True as fuck. That's all from Ogi. I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Ogi. That is a really awesome fan mail. I really really enjoy, and I'm really happy that you did that. Aku juga senang kamu udah kasih aku request. I think I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna announce it in a few days. Okay, so yeah, we'll see. So yeah, thank you Augie for the fan mail, and let's get right into the next one. That is Instagram questions. Ooh, ask me anything, I guess. Habis yang Instagram, ku bakal langsung lompat ke yang Ask FM. So, to make everything much, much more simple, oke? Okay? Hold up, let me open up my phone. Mohon maaf kalau misalnya di background lagi berisik, karena aku rekam ini siang-siang. Cause I don't get time buat rekam malam-malam, which sucks. Tapi kalau misalnya nanti ada fan mail malam-malam, well, I'll be forced to record. Tapi gak apa-apa, that's okay. So, yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Ooh, my wild response. So let's start from here. Let's start first from Molida. Pernah mengalami writer's block nggak waktu bikin script? Oh iya, jelas lah. Bukan cuma di um, apa sih namanya? Bukan cuma di um, in the Brit, but also in writing as a profession. Karena aku screen freelancer, screenwriter. Ku I get to love those Kayak misalnya kalau misalnya klien kasih aku satu konsep Tapi gak kasih tau aku jalan cerita Ooh, That's gonna be hell for me Karena that's why I always take one day Just to brainstorm the fuck out of my head Same goes buat in the bread Apalagi buat plan satu bulan full Ooh, Pusing lah What do I make, what do I write But in the end it's all worth it Especially series Karena aku enjoy banget those series tapi usually I already have apa ya. Udah tahu apa yang bakal terjadi ke depan. So yeah. Here it goes. And next. We have. By the way thank you for the question ya Maulida. We have Lailita. Mengembat cowok kadang gak peka. It's. Uh, to be honest it's really simple. Um, soalnya kalau cowok kan kerjanya. Eh cewek kerjanya secara feelings kan. Emotions. Cowok kerja secara logika So sometimes cowok lebih mending langsung dikasih tahu gitu Kayak apa perasaannya Kayak langsung aja Kita kita bayangkan masih kurang ngerti gitu Why? Kenapa serepot itu gitu Tapi I get it kenapa Sana maybe cewek masih Kayak gak mau ngomong secara frontal Atau apa And The guy even though bener Cowok harus Bisa peka sama perasaan Tapi um, That's how men are wired. Just like how women are mostly kayak terdorong dari emosi, guys are mostly terdorong dari um, logika. I think that's the thing. Okay then, thank you for the question, Flaidita. If you want me to go on further, bisa ya nanti di comment atau gak even fan mails. I would love to hear your story. So thank you. We have now Alda. Which city are, were you born in? Aku lahir di Jakarta. Nggak sih lebih tepatnya Tangerang. Cuma sekarang pindah ke Jakarta. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> Thank you all that. And then not minus. Oh minus. Tanya. Hal sih apa yang pernah terjadi pas lagi recording atau editing? Kebetulan. Lagi record Tuesday Mood. Dan baru nyadar. Kalau misalnya audionya jelek banget. Aku nggak nyadar. Aku nggak sadar kado. Kabel-kabelnya itu semuanya kayak kelilit, terus jadi kacau banget, jadi suara yang brrrr. <laughs> Something like that. So imagine ngomong selama 30 menit full, atau 20 menit waktu itu, 
And then when you're finished, you realize, oh fuck, how do you like, I have to restart all over again. It sucks, but namanya juga hidup, bukan so ada yang work out. But we have to get back up. So yeah, I recorded it again. I recorded it again, mohon maaf. And yeah, that's how it went. Thank you, ya. Uh, masih banyak kayak ini. So yeah, thank you, minus. Now we have Fia. Ada gak sih konten yang kamu gak pernah, gak akan pernah kamu buat? Either it's too sensitive or anything. I think regarding on um, a few pranks yang aku gak suka, like a few pranks yang kayak uh, ada sih yang bilang, and I'd love to tackle it actually. Um, kayak prank pura-pura putus, that sucks, but that always just gives me goosebumps, kalau bisa bayangin aja. Maybe I'll make it one day. And one more thing is, Um, sexual assault um, I will not make something that is yang cewek yang gak fully consent to so maybe cewek yang gak maksudnya cewek yang gak consent banget gak terlalu tapi still wants to do it I'll make something like that like an unpleasant first night gue bakal lakuin sesuatu yang kayak gitu but I will not make fully um, sexual assault or something like that kidnapping maybe maybe but in a playful way like, In a, mohon maaf kata-kata yang melantur in a playful way tapi kalau misalnya sexual assault just for the sake of it I won't do that even though some people have that fantasy or some shit like that like they want to know what it feels like or something like that I'm not gonna make it out of respect sama orang-orang yang udah pernah yang udah jadi korbannya I don't want to do that I seriously do not want to out of respect so yeah Thank you, Fia, for the question. And then, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah tadi bilang, Mama sibuk gak? I, I belum sempat baca chatnya, Sarah. Maaf ya, Sarah, tadi. So, we'll just read yang Sarah yang di atas. Apa konten yang paling berkesan buat Bapak dan paling Bapak suka? Definitely the Bodyguard series. I fucking like it. Because, hmm, apa ya, kayak, I'm most proud of it. Soalnya itu kayak ibaratnya, maybe I'll make a video about this one, ngejelasin my thoughts on it. Kayak apa ya? Pertama kali coba bodyguard itu kayak, oh my god, that's really awesome idea about solo series. Aku suka nulis, aku lagi buat in the bit shorts, why don't I make a series? Dan apa yang terjadi itu kayak orang baru belajar mobil, cara belajar, belajar cara nyetir mobil, disuruhin naik mobil Ferrari, terus disuruh balap. It's not gonna be good. Even though you guys love it, I still feel like I can do better. That's why I'm making um, Bodyguard Season 2 a little bit more serious than any other one, including the bad boy one. So, yeah. I'll probably make a video about my thoughts on the rest of series yang gue pernah buat. So, yeah. Something like that. Thank you, guys, Sarah. By the way, kalau misal kalian pengen, um, apa sih namanya? fan art dari uh, Indo Bread you guys can go to Sarah punya ya fan art yang bagus-bagus fucking like it so yeah thank you ya Sarah okay now we go on to Linda Linda bilang kalau puasa kenapa ya lapar siang hari cause we don't eat <laughs> tapi ya saya harusnya kayak gitu explanation ya Linda thank you for the question dapat accent British dari belajar kah Yes, I used to have an American accent, but now I have a British accent, tapi pelan-pelan semakin ke depan for some reason, I'm talking a little bit more the um, American accent for some reason. Maybe karena aku kebanyakan nonton American people now, that my accent is starting to mix up, jadi kayak agak aneh. So yeah, something like that. So, kalau misalnya mau belajar, aku saranin jangan, karena sumpah cuma bakal di baik di tease. But if you want to, if you feel like you have a tough skin, go ahead. Knock yourselves out, because it's fun. It's also bad at the same time. So yeah, now we go to Ratu Shila. By the way, thank you, Lemon Bish, for asking the question. Then, now we have Ratu Shila. <laughs> Shila. You are Jasmine without jazz. Whoa, that's a nice one. <laughs> Mine. That's really sweet, though. Thank you, Sheila, 
for making me smile more. <laughs> so now we have Philly the Psycho. Do you like Mendai's Choco ice cream? Anything that has chocolate in it, I fucking like it. So yeah. Thank you, Philly. And now we have our final question from the Instagram. Dari Dahlia. Instagram is Hayangku Dahlia. Your favorite food? Suka pedas ngap. My favorite food lah. So pilih aku. Um, kalau aku, my favorite food, kalau misalnya Indonesia. Aku gak bisa pilih. Sumpah ini susah banget. Kalau misalnya Indonesia, aku um, pampis. Makanan, like, makanan pedas ikan gitu. I think, masih Manado harusnya. Tapi... Maybe I'm getting it wrong, pokoknya namanya pompis. And that's the so yeah. And the other one, I fucking love pizza. Nothing can beat pizza for me. So yeah. That is it. So yeah, thank you, Dahlia, for the questions. And now we move on towards SKFM. No, those are awesome questions. The, the uh, Instagram, fucking like that. And yeah, let's go to SKFM. Okay, we marked that, and now we get to. Yang paling gue benci dari SKFM itu kayak banyak banget dah. Itu nya, hmm, kayak via shout out and all that shit. So yeah, let's go to here. Just a random question: When is your birthday? Birthday aku 21 Oktober ya guys. So yeah, see you then. You have a new question. Apa hal tersusah saat bikin konten betul? It will be fun if you upload some bloopers. If there is. Of course I'll make it. Aku malah udah, aku udah jawab ini malah. Aku nanti bakal buat, uh, aku sih kebanyakan delete hal yang gagal. Tapi next time I'll just put it in a compilation so you guys can love it even more, okay? Okay. Okay, next question we have. How is your day? But pretty awesome today. Um, not much going on. I'm busy with a few stuff, but all is good though. Thank you. Kamu apa kabar? Same question as that one. Okay, so I have a boyfriend, but I still listen to your ASMR audios every day before I sleep. Do you think it's weird? To be honest, I like your voice better than this. <laughs> And I wonder what if he finds out. I don't think that. Listening to ASMR audios every day before you sleep is a bad thing. It's just like um, liking something. It's entertainment in the end. Kaya kalau misalnya kamu suka K-pop, that doesn't mean kaya you pengen bener-bener when that guy like. <coughs> Mohon maaf. Mungkin mau, but like there's a always an, a chance, but itu nggak terjadi. So yeah, it's just entertainment in the end. Kayak misalnya cowok suka supermodel or even some stuff yang 18. It's just, that's just life. It's entertainment. Kita gak boleh anggap entertainment too seriously. That's why I don't get it. Kenapa cowok kadang marah kalau misalnya cewek yang suka K-pop banget. And I don't get it kalau misalnya cewek kesel banget kalau misalnya cowok yang suka marti cewek. Atau misalnya sampai, you know, 18 stuff. Don't really mind both of those shit. Because it's just entertainment in the end. Yang penting hatinya masih sesama. <coughs> Mohon maaf, batuk aku lagi gak bener Aku ada minum di samping But we get to finish this first And I wonder what if he finds out <laughs> What if he finds out I don't think he'll like it Because I think I don't know what age are you on Tapi usually um, Karena kita masih immature Kebanyakan We don't really get to know our own feelings. If we don't know our own feelings, kita gak mungkin ngerti tentang feelings orang lain. So yeah, mungkin masih ada cemburu-cemburunya, but that's okay. In, in the end, it's just entertainment. Okay, now we have... You guys can tell us what is your ideal date. My ideal date? To be honest, anything can be an ideal date as long as we have fun. Tapi kalau misalnya aku bisa... Suka awal um, datang terus ketemuan and then we go to the bioskop terus kita pesan tiket dan sekian nunggu mungkin kita main time zone atau arcade gitu and then we go to um, 
library mungkin kayak perpustakaan habis dari perpustakaan sana banyak banget topik yang bisa muncul dari perpustakaan library date and habis itu kita habis uh-uh, kita baru nonton filmnya habis selesai nonton probably we go on uh, makan sore i guess untuk makan malam and then before we go home probably aku bakal ada belanja dikit this 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 spice things up belanja juga bisa sebelum bioskop mulai kayak belanja buat air atau some shit cause lagi belanja itu we get open about so much kayak apa yang dulu sering beli-beli bebas sama orang tua masih kecil gitu sering beli cemilan apa it just it just forms a chemistry so yeah um now as far as first date goes i usually be the one to pay the first kayak kalau misalnya lagi makan i'm probably pay the first and sometimes aku buat kayak ide itu kayak aku ngomong okay aku beli tiketnya kamu yang beliin popcorn okay <laughs> and usually nine times out of ten they usually do it tapi kalau misalnya mereka ngomong that's a red flag for me so yeah karena if the first date you harus tuntut cowok you buat bayarin semuanya that's not right tapi kalau misalnya cowok you inisiatif bayarin pertama kali like the first food that is great that is good eh? tapi jangan harap buat dibayarin semuanya because that is just that's fucked up man itu kayak, itu kayak gak ada tanggung jawabnya sama sekali he's not your boyfriend just yet he doesn't owe you shit so yeah um, I don't, she doesn't owe me shit too so first date itu cuma kayak testing the waters out now the final question I think I think this final question would you actually approach a girl first in public absolutely I'd love to actually I'd love to try it gue pengen banget coba but even though my body isn't like ideal just yet at the moment and I'm quite I'm not that tall It, it just sort of happen sometimes. Tapi kau mau coba kapan ya kapan? Like just to approach a girl. I think that would be fun. So yeah. I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Oh yeah, kau belum ngomongin why I'm happy hari ini. Um, as of late, maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make a video about it, talking about um something. But I learned something di beberapa hari yang lalu. And now moving on. So, aku buat ini simple aja. No matter seberapa berat yang kita alami, no matter seberapa susah atau seberapa serem gitu yang kita alamin, one day you fuck sick. One day, kayak you bakal lihat hari itu hari di mana you rasa kesakitan and you be like. Oh shit, that happened. Lu <laughs> tahu sendiri. Because you cherish the moment. So don't come sana habis on a break, on a rough breakup atau apa-apa yang buruk. Don't don't forget about it. Rejoice that it happened. Senang karena udah warnain hidup kamu kayak gitu. Kayak kalau misalnya kamu bayangin kejadian yang buruk banget 8 tahun lalu, 9 tahun lalu atau 5 tahun lalu, sesuatu yang buruk kamu mungkin ketawa bayangin itu. And next few years you're gonna remember that too. It depends to how it all happens. Antara, it's all about learning. Mau kita yang benar, mau kita yang salah. Pokoknya kita sama-sama belajar in the end. In the relationship, kalau misalnya relationship yang kacau, gak ada tuh full sama-sama cowok yang selalu salah atau cowok yang selalu salah. Pasti duduknya ada salahnya. So yeah, in the end, that is it. I'm probably gonna make some, um, a more, kayak, personal or even... Um, full video about this one but yeah I love you guys and thank you so much busin nyampe 30 menit I'm probably gonna talk until I stretch it out to 30, 30 minutes but yeah thank you all for watching I hope you enjoy banget ya ini um, apa sih namanya I like the show Maybe I'll put on a mid-roll ad mungkin Mungkin pasti di bagian setelah baca fan mail Hopefully you don't mind Kalau misalnya you don't mind you Kasih tahu kalau misalnya you mind Please do chat me ya 
I'll, I'll immediately take it down. But thank you. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the show and peace out there, guys. I love all of you. Keep being at your best. Smart dan juga yang bagi puasa. Smart juga, okay? I love you guys. See you later. Peace out. Hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, hello everyone. Sebelum kita selesai, aku mohon maaf banget aku lupa satu banget satu question dari um, Instagram their question and that is from Nutrisari. So yeah, here's the question. Suka duka jadi kang ASMR. Um, suka duka, suka aku. You guys are awesome. As a community, as a family, you guys are the absolute best. And I really enjoy okay, applying what I can do, okay, writing stories into this. And I really enjoy okay, buat karya sesuatu that is absolutely meaningful to you guys. So thank you. Yeah. Dukanya probably... Um, I don't get much free time, but that's okay. Because <laughs> I really love this too. And... I think uh, some maybe takut keluarga tahu and yeah I sometimes get a lot of freaky people coming in my way but that's okay because that's what I sign up for and I will take accountability kalau aku buat kau eh kalau aku buat konten ini aku gak akan tuntut orang buat stop lakuin hal-hal yang aneh-aneh tapi please um, kalau misalnya you wanna talk like that Please be respectful because just because I'm a guy doesn't mean I am horny 24-7. So please, for God's sake, jangan lakukan kayak gitu ya. Jangan langsung, wah, ya boleh gitu lah. But anyway, thank you so much for um, the question ya, Nudri. Sari, maksudnya Sari. Sari, Sari, Nudri. <laughs> I'm really sorry I could help me better scram, but yeah, thank you so much for the question. So yeah, thank you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you later, okay? Peace out. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.